at the name of Jesus. Every knee should bend of those in heaven and on the earth and under the earth. For the Lord became obedient to death, death on a cross. Therefore, Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. We gather now on this Wednesday of Holy Week, continuing our meditation upon our Lord's suffering that he voluntarily undertook for love of us, that we might be freed from the power of sin. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, who pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear. And I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons. Because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you, fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, 
may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor and his own who are in bonds. He spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our errors. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, go into the city to a certain man and tell him the teacher says, my appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. In our first readings of this week, we have been hearing from the servant songs of the prophet Isaiah, although it would be more accurate to say the suffering servant songs. For the prophet speaks of Israel's leader, its Messiah, as one who will face great suffering, even at the hands of his own people. But the servant will persevere, will not be turned back at the prospect of suffering or in the execution of suffering against him, because he knows that the Lord God is his help, and therefore will not be disgraced. That's a, a, a telling word, at least in English. To be disgraced means to, to be deprived of God's grace. To sin is to be disgraced, separated from grace or refusing grace 
or weakening grace. But the Messiah is not disgraced, even amidst his suffering. And as the new covenant will make abundantly clear, it is precisely in bearing this suffering willingly that the power of sin over the human race is broken. It never penetrates Jesus. It only brings distress to his human nature. And great distress at that. But for us whom sin has penetrated, the love, the sacrificial love of Jesus that we receive, and when we receive it, by surrendering ourselves to him. That sacrificial love is the power, the energy, the might that vanquishes sin in us, our disgrace. For Jesus on the cross is the grace of our salvation. So, we hear in the gospel of the betrayal of Judas. And the word that's used to indicate his betrayal is that he uses, what are you willing to give me, he says to the chief priests, if I hand him over to you, if I hand him over to you. And the word in the Greek is the same word that gets translated into Latin and English as tradition. Tradition. The church's tradition is handing Jesus over from one generation to the next through a faithful preaching of the word and living out of the word in the life of charity. This is the mission of the church and of each one of us to hand Jesus over to the world. Not in the way Judas chose to do so, by betraying him. but by being faithful and long-suffering and patient in our sufferings and willing, our willingness, like Jesus, to bear suffering for the sake of the kingdom. It's in this way that we we are to hand Jesus over. And as parents, Christian parents of children, as teachers, as all those who are concerned for the education of, of the young, we know that handing Jesus over is not an easy task. It requires great perseverance and a lot of suffering. especially when the faith doesn't take so easily or so permanently. In that regard, the work of a parent 
towards their children to hand Jesus over to them <coughs> never ceases. And more broadly, the work of the church to evangelize, which is to hand Jesus over, requires great sacrifice. And therefore, great love. So Jesus <coughs> says to the, to the disciples, go uh, into the city to a certain man and tell him, the teacher, that is, namely, I, I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples in, in your house. And this gives us <clears throat> the content of, of what the church does in handing Jesus over to others through the work of evangelization, making clear to each individual the master has need of you. The master desires to celebrate his Passover, the mystery of his death and resurrection, in your house. In your house. In the house of, of, one, of one's own person. One's heart. That is made fit for such a meal through faith, coming to surrender oneself into Jesus' hands. And the faith that we give is not one that can stop at words. We know that. And in teaching the faith, especially to children who have a certain native wisdom, the faith, they will not receive the faith if their teacher, if for, if for the teacher, it is simply a matter of words. They will quickly dismiss it. Judas was a person of words. A betrayer in his heart, he says, Surely, Rabbi, it is not I who betray you. And Jesus answers, You've said so, but your heart says something very different. And yet, Jesus says, the Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him. Through the sins of men, Jesus is brought to the cross. But in accepting the cross, Jesus has given to every sinner the remedy for their disgrace. Let us stand. Our infirmities he bore, our sufferings he endured, as the prophet testified. In love for him and gratitude, let us pray. Jesus, tormented by those who refuse your love, have pity on those whose love has been betrayed, we pray to the Lord. Grant our prayer, O Lord. Jesus, left without consolers, have pity on all the afflicted and abandoned, we pray to the Lord. Grant our prayer, O Lord. Jesus, given vinegar to drink in your thirst, have pity on those who thirst for justice to no avail, we pray to the Lord. Grant our prayer, O Lord. Jesus, shamed by men, but vindicated by God, 
be the joy of all the poor who find their wealth in you. We pray to the Lord. Grant our prayer, O Lord, for peace in the world, for the protection of our servicemen and women and first responders, for those who've fallen and for the consolation of their families. We pray to the Lord. Grant our prayer, O Lord, for God's blessings of unity and peace upon all marriages and families, for an abundance of vocations, to the priesthood, diaconate, and consecrated life. We pray to the Lord. Grant our prayer, O Lord, for God's blessings upon our parish and all of our parish apostolates, that by remaining faithful and enduring all suffering for love of Jesus, we may hand Jesus over and bear fruit for the new evangelization. We pray to the Lord. Grant our prayer, O Lord, for all those who are burdened by any need, for the sick and dying, the homeless and unemployed, for widows and orphans, refugees, immigrants, migrants, for victims of war, violence, natural disasters, persecutions, and human exploitation, for all those who are weighed down by addictions or chronic pain or mental illness, for all the suffering poor, we pray to the Lord. Grant our prayer, O Lord. For all those who have died in the hope of resurrection, especially among our family, friends, benefactors, and fellow parishioners, we pray to the Lord. Grant our prayer, O Lord. And for the special prayers which we bring before the Lord this day. Lord Jesus, you endured every ill at the hands of your enemies for love of all peoples who are not yet your friends. Obedient to the Father's will, you walked into the darkness of death to open out before us the light of life. Grant us the grace to follow where you have led, for you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here, and graciously grant that celebrating your son's passion in mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And this mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Leonore Algave. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus, your beloved Son. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise 
as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that, converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you. Sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love. We offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity, and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Wilton our Bishop and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, with Saint Hugh and all the saints, and with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Rule him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Endow us, Almighty God, with the firm conviction that through your Son's death in time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tomorrow, Holy Thursday, begins the sacred three days of our Lord's passion, death, and resurrection. The Mass tomorrow is at 7.30 in the evening, the Mass of the Lord's Supper, and there is no Mass tomorrow morning. So tomorrow evening at 7.30, Good Friday service is 2 o'clock station, 12 noon living station, and 7.30 evening veneration of the cross, Easter vigil at 8 p.m. Saturday, and then the usual Sunday schedule, 8 o'clock, 9.30, and 11 o'clock. Thank you for your presence at the daily masses during this Lenten season. What a source of strength it is for each other uh, to be together and uh, to journey towards Easter uh, in the presence of one another. God bless you for your sacrifice. The Lord be with you. And, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us.